welcome to Healthy Cooking and Shopping for Life. And we want it to be a lifestyle. Uh, today it's teens in the kitchen and with Sterling Bennett. And Sterling happens to be uh, my grandson. I'm his grandmother, uh, Sylvia Bennett, and Sterling's gonna be doing guacamole. And uh, Sterling, you go right ahead now. Hi, welcome to Healthy and Cooking Shop for Life Teen Net Edition. I'm Sterling Bennett and I'm 13 years old and I'm gonna be making a table side guacamole. First, you're gonna start off with two fresh avocado and you're gonna cut them in half. After you cut one, you're gonna twist it and then it's ripe and then you're gonna cut it. And you're gonna get a spoon to scoop it out. Or if you don't have one, you can use your hand. There's always more than one way to do it. I see uh, the way you cut that and peeled it, I wouldn't have thought of that. I would have had a spoon and probably a fork. Mm -hmm. Grandma can learn from a teenager. Oh, thank you, Grandmother. You're welcome. And then uh, when it comes to the seed, what I do, I need to get the knife and stab it in the seed and then twist it. <laughs> You've got the strength to do that. And twist, cut it. Okay. And then slice it across. And get your spoon. Get your spoon and scoop it out. You make it look so easy, Sterling. It is. Okay. <laughs> well, that's what we like, is easy cooking. And then after I'm done, I will just mash it just a couple times. You don't have to use this. You can use a bowl and mash it however you want it. After I get it mashed a little bit, I'm so, gonna put in some lemon juice. So it, it can be a little bit chunky or smooth, smooth? Yes, mm -hmm. I like mine chunky. You like yours chunky, okay. And put a little lime. Mmm. A little tomato. Like the combination you're putting in there, Sterling. A little cilantro. And a little onions. Mmm. And then since I'm making a double side, I'm going to put in another avocado. So you like to start with two. You like to make this recipe with two yes. avocados. Yes, so I can serve it to my family. All right. And then sometimes you don't want to use it. You just put it aside and make sure you keep the seed in so it won't turn brown. I'm glad you share that with me. Do you want to use your spoon for that, or do you like the knife better? I like the knife better. I just use it to cut it and get a little head start on it. You know, avocado was uh, uh, a fruit that I didn't know about and learn until I came to California many years ago. Oh. I wasn't familiar with avocados. That's cool. I'm going to mash it up again. And then what I do different than other people, I like to put a little oil in it to give it a little, a little liquidy. But some you don't have to put oil because it has oil in the That's avocado. That's right. It has it in it already. There's oil and fat in it. <clears throat> a little olive Just oil. a few drops of olive oil, okay. A little salt. Oh yeah, I, I like my salt with my avocado. It brings out the flavor, don't you think? Yes, mm -hmm. a little black pepper. A little more cilantro. A little more onions. And everything is raw, that's the good part. It's quick, easy, and, tomato. and nutritional. Mm-hmm. A little more lemon. Mm-hmm, that lemon juice gives you your liquid. I Mm -hmm. I'm going to smash it. Mm -hmm. 
I like the container that you have. Thank you. Rather exotic. And then we're done. You're going to get your spoon. All right. <coughs> Thank you, Sterling. I'm and then delighted. We have homemade guacamole. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome.